There we are. Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad you're here for another live. Hey, Bryn. Good morning. You're still a little stuffed up, but I appreciate you um, being here and being my moderator. <laughs> yep, you got your, I know, I've got my Kleenex over there too. Brenda and I are both dealing with the sinus thing that went around, but you know what? That's not going to stop us from stamping. We keep stamping. Nope. So, uh, hope Super everybody excited excited. About what? I'm super excited about today's card. It's so pretty. It's my oh. aunt's favorite colors. And so I'm going to jump off here and just let us get started. Okay. Oh, well, listen, we're going to be using a lot of blues today. Some really fun colors and a really fun card. So a series that I've done here on my channel a lot has been called a now, wow, or holy cow. So we've got three cards and I'm going to show you how to create one right now. You're going to be able to eat this fast. You're heading out the door uh, and you need to get this in the mail, whatever it is. I've got one that you can make right now. Maybe you've got a few more minutes and you want to step it up. I've got what I call wow. And we're going to do some more fun things with this card to make it a wow. But let's say you want to go all out and make a holy cow. I've got a card for that as well. So are you ready? I think we're going to go ahead and head over to my table. Um, as always, I got a free download for you guys that goes along with my video. <laughs> so that uh you can follow along uh brand you might want to mute <laughs> yep, <sir. laughs> oh girl i hear you I'm like mm, yep i got my kleenex too um but anyway everything you need for the cards is going to be here in your download so you're going to have the measurements you're going to have some photos here's all that fun little um cutting that we're going to do you may need to come back and watch the video and i get that so i've got a qr code or you can click that and come back to it and of course if you need to order i'd love to be your demonstrator click right there you'll see the full supply list of everything for the card and you can order from there as well okay who's ready to create a card well you want to really see them <laughs> let's try let's start with that this is my now card <clears throat> okay so this is what it's going to look like and it will fit into a medium-sized envelope, all right? So it's gonna be easy to mail. And you can see, it's just a, a simple card, but this is this is how it's going to display. Do you love it? We love cards that display. This is the back side. This is where you'll write your message. But yeah, it's a really fun card. And guys, this will go together so incredibly fast. In fact, I will bet I could probably create this card in about five minutes. So that is going to be our now card. I'll tell you what, we're going to start with the now card and then I'm going to show you the wow and the holy cow. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about the supplies we need for the card. Um, I've got a piece of balmy blue cardstock that is, and this is important. Hear me out. Five and a half by eight and a quarter, not eight and a half, eight and a quarter. That is important. We'll go over the scoring on that here in a second. I have two pieces of basic white cardstock. Uh, these two pieces are two inch by five and a quarter. And now let's have some fun. I have got four pieces of designer series paper, and I'm using the Re uh, Reg Regency 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 Park designer series paper. I've got four strips, three quarters by five and a quarter. And then, are you ready? Eight pieces of Knight of Navy that are also three quarters by five and a quarter. So this is a great way to use up some scraps. And you can see here this, you know, when it was all one piece, it's not a lot of designer series paper. So that's what we need. Eight, four. All right. Well, I'm going to bring in my balmy blue so I can show you how to do the scoring. And guys, this is so fast and easy. I'm going to do it with my Simply Scoreboard because it's one of my favorite tools. You're going to put the eight and a quarter up at the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to score it one inch, two inch, and three inch. I want you to rotate it all the way around and just do that again. One inch, two inch, and three inch. The reason I do that, it's going to ensure that everything is right versus trying to score over here so i really like to rotate that is all we need to do with that piece of cardstock okay let me put this down we're going to move on to our stamping so i'm going to bring in i'm going to bring in some grid paper as i do this because i will be stamping off of my cardstock so let me show you our stamp set today it's the sentimental park stamp set fabulous fonts fabulous leaves 
everything I need is in this stamp set. And I'm going to be using a balmy blue and night of navy ink pad. So you can see it's really kind of minimal supplies, right? I'm going to start with my night of navy. And uh, let's see, I'm going to start with the front of the card. And what I did is I took the word thanks, the word for, and all the wonderful things you do. So these are three separate stamps, and I just mounted them all on one block. I'm going to ink that up in my Knight of Navy. And here's what you're going to see. Ooh, it's not going to quite fit. So what I'm going to have you do is stamp this at an angle. I want to try to get everything in there. Stamp that at an angle there in the center of one of those pieces of uh, basic white. Since I've got my Knight of Navy out, I'm going to do all of my Knight of Navy. We're going to take the outside image of our flowers, and I'm going to stamp those here. And I'm going to rotate my stamp around and stamp again down here. All right, that's simple enough. I'm going to also put just a few flowers down here at the bottom of my second piece. And then I'm going to take the word love also from this set. And we are going to stamp again at an angle. You know why I stamp at an angle sometimes? Because then I don't have to worry about being straight. <laughs> you know, when you've got those images, those sentiments that have to be straight, sometimes I just like to stamp them crooked on purpose. All right, that should be everything I need with Knight of Navy. So now I'm going to bring in the balmy blue. And let's bring in the solid images here. And you can see right where to stamp. And bear with me, I gotta get right over this, which probably is gonna get me super close to my microphone. Uh, I'm gonna stamp right here, and then I'm not going to re-ink it. And I'm gonna stamp again, and I'm gonna get a little bit lighter color right down here. You see how I did that? And it kind of gave me two-tone. Now let's come in, I'm gonna ink up again because I have to. I'm not gonna be able to get three. <laughs> We're gonna stamp right down there. And I have one last thing to stamp in Balmy Blue, and that is the word you. Love, love you. Okay, that was it. When I said five minute card, I'm really not kidding. All right, so we have those. I'm now going to bring in my scored card stock. And let's do some folding. So I'm gonna fold, remember this is the pop-up in the front. So if you kinda think about that, there's that one. I'm gonna fold the next one in like that. Then I'm gonna accordion out. I think I have that right. Here's the thing, guys. If you didn't fold it correctly, and if, if you didn't, it's not the end of the world, and it looks like I didn't, uh, you're just gonna go and give it a score back. But I can see that's, how I want my card to go. We can just, that's it, all right? Simple enough, right? There's our pop-up. See how it's gonna come together? So easy. All right, it's time to put some stuff together. Wow, wow, that's how fast this one is. All right, let's put some adhesive here on the back. And I'm going to put all of these pieces of, um, cardstock and designer series paper and we're gonna fill in the panels and i'll tell you what i got a story to share while i do all this adhering because i got a lot of adhering to do so this morning uh went out to get my mail hoping and praying my new stampin up catalog was there because demonstrators have started to get theirs i left my mailbox sad but uh i got a bill well, that's not that that was also made me sad, but I got a bill and um, come on, he said, I got a bill. And when I was opening it, I dropped. Um, I got to make sure I'm doing this right. I'm going to put I'll tell you my story here in a second. I'm going to put my eight pieces of Knight of Navy here on these panels. All right. And then I'm doing my designer series paper in between. So uh, let's go ahead and keep working on that. So I get this bill. And you know how when you get a bill in the mail, a lot of times they give you a, an envelope that you can send the payment in. Well, I dropped it. And the puppy, the naughty puppy, Tugger, grabbed it and took off with it. Now, he's, he's learned something. We've, we've taught him this. We've taught him that when he gets something that we don't want him to have, 
we can say trade and I got to make sure he's not up here because then he'll come running. But if we say trade, he'll drop it. And that means we'll trade him for a treat. And well, you know, he's a dog. So he loves those. Why am I miss? Oh, there's the fourth one. Thought I lost one. So, but today I was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to trade because I don't care. I'm not paying the bill in the mail. I'm going to pay it online. So yeah, sure. Go ahead and tear up that envelope. I don't care. Here is the hilarious part. So he's tearing this up and the glue on the envelope flap, you know, that you would lick to seal it, it got stuck to his face and his fur <laughs> and he couldn't get it off. I thought, I, I just, you know what? I don't think I've ever seen anything so hilarious in my life than to see a terrier who has that, you know, kind of that beard and the envelope flap which he had torn up but he had it stuck to his face and he couldn't get it off it was fantastic it brightened my day all right so there's my story as i adhere we're gonna now do our designer series paper oh that silly silly little dog um by the way this regency park designer series paper i want to show you my first one i did use a different pattern so, uh, oh, and look at this fantastic stripe. I mean, I could have used that stripe as well, and it would have looked really, really nice. So feel free to get creative with your paper. There's other colors in that paper as well. I know there's some like sweet sorbet. So this card could be done in other colors rather than the navy and the balmy blue. Just look at your paper. Um, also, hey, why not look at just other designer series paper that needs some love? This is a great way to use it up, to use up some scraps, but it does use, um, you know, several pieces. So I wouldn't mix and match too much, but here's the thing. It's all about creativity. And if it doesn't work, guys, it's just some paper. Oh, I just finished a card. Boom. Look at that. Like I said, it's going to fit into an envelope. I'm ready to go. It's going to stand up. I can write my message. How fast was that? Crazy, right? All right, so that is my now card. If you need to make one now, I got you covered. Now let's move on to our wow card. This is our wow card. It's similar, of course, but do you see we have an extra we have an extra pop up here, right? And we have some extra layers. And I used a more designer series paper than I did of the Knight of Navy. So there's the back. So I wanted just a little bit more versus this one. You can see we just added a little bit extra to it. And of course, we have this extra cut. So here we go. Uh, so for this card, I'm going to give you some other measurements. The card base, that five and a half by eight and a quarter scored one, two, three, one, two, three. That is all the same. All right. Um, my designer series paper and my uh, Knight of Navy, also the same size. Here's where uh, we changed up some things. So you're going to have, instead of, let me bring this in. So on this one, we used four pieces of designer series paper and eight pieces of Knight of Navy. Reverse that. For this one, we're going to use eight pieces of designer series paper and four pieces of Knight of Navy. Okay. So um, I've got my designer series paper, and then I'm doing something a little different with the sentiment. I wanted to give it a layer. So these. These measurements here are going to be a little bit different as well. Ready? Knight of Navy. You've got two of these, two by five and a quarter, two pieces of the basic white, one and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Okay. So you can see you're just cutting a hair less than um, that Knight of Navy. You guys with me? I hope so. All right. Tell you what we're going to do. Um, to save some time, because you just saw me do it, I'm going to stamp this again through the magic of television. That has been stamped. All right. Then we're going to take that and we're going to adhere it onto the Knight of Navy. It's just amazing how the magic of television works, right? Whoop, done. All right. So again, you're going to stamp the exact same way. Nothing's changed there. We're just layering it on that Knight of Navy. Okay. I'm going to bring in that... Um, Scored cardstock again, nothing changed here. And you see, just for time, I did go ahead and add my Knight of Navy, but you can see, and let me show you here. I'm going to do 
designer series paper on the outside and Knight of Navy on the inside. So again, it's just reversed on what we did on the first one because I wanted more wow because this is my wow card. So I wanted a little more designer series paper. There's a trick I need to share with you when you adhere this down. So what you want to do with these pieces is um, you want to put adhesive. This is important. You want to put adhesive all the way down. Don't try to just do little bits up at the top and the bottom. Because we're going to be cutting into this, I don't want, I don't want to have a spot where there's no adhesive and it can fall off. Ask me how I know. Go ahead. Ask me. Well, yeah, because when I made this card, I just put it here, here, and here, and the pieces fell off. So I'm going to make the mistake so you don't have to. <laughs> Whoopsie, I almost did it again. All the way down. And we'll add a couple more here. I'm loving this paper. And honestly, like Brenda said, she loves the... Uh, the colors in this, it has a memory that goes along with it, and I love that. It is really gorgeous. All right, so there we go. Everything adhered down. All right, now we're going to do some cutting. Before we adhere these, we're going to do some cutting. Are you ready? I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. And what I need to do is I need to cut in between the second and third panel. All right. So we're going to cut from this piece of designer series paper over to here. I'm going to line it up at the one inch mark. Okay. And let me get this. I'm going to zoom in. I don't want you guys to be able to see this. So I have that lined up here at one inch. And what I want to do is take the tick mark of my blade and line it up with that score line. If you get a little off, it's all right, okay? We don't need to stress. But I'm going to line that up, and bear with me because I am at an angle. And so I'm going to cut in between. Um, I'm going to go to the, I'm cutting through the second and the third panel. Ready? And I'm going to give you a little tip. You're going to want to probably go through it two or three times till you're sure you went through all those layers. And I did, all right? Now we're going to rotate this around. Let's do this again. We're going to do this four times. So I'm going to cut. Yep, I can feel it went all the way through. We're going to turn it around and we'll do this again. Cut through at that one inch. And one more. And you know, even for a wow card, it didn't take me that much longer. But. We love to keep things nice and simple, right? Don't let this get too far away from you because we're going to do some more with it. So let me go ahead and back that camera back up. Now, look what we have. We've got some little pop-outs going on here. That wasn't too hard, right? So there's the front of my card, right? Let's go ahead and add our images that we created and we'll... This one, I don't have to worry about adhesive because obviously I'm not, I'm done cutting. But now it kind of makes sense why I said go all the way down because if I didn't have adhesive here and here, nothing would not be sitting where I want it. All right, there's my thanks for all the wonderful things you do. And I'm going to adhere this one and then I'm going to show you how to turn this into a wow. Okay, so, oh, look, see, can you see? Look, I went too far doesn't matter because I'm covering it up. So I said, we're not, we don't stress too much over that. So there we go. Boom. Wow card. And you can do it this way. You can do, you've got options. Like if I want these to go back or the big panels to go in front, play with it. And honestly, who doesn't love to play with a card? But we can pop those backwards. We can mail it that way. And then, of course, when they get it, if you'll go ahead, I prefer to go ahead and give it the fold so it can go in the envelope this way. So when they pull it out, it automatically wants to go into place versus trying to do it this way, everything flat, because then when they open it, it does that. And we put all those fancy little cuts in it for a reason, right? So 
uh, go ahead and have some fun playing with that one. Fabulous card. Okay, that was my wow. Now let's make this a holy cow. Are you ready? Okay, I am actually going to go ahead and use this card to show you how to turn it into a holy cow. I'm now going to come, I'm going to actually now go on this side and I'm going to take it to the two inch mark. And you probably can guess what I'm about to do. I am going to line this up and we're going to cut in between the two inches. I'll come up here. By the way, you know, before I, I moved it all around, it's whatever works for you. Okay. We'll move this one. And now we're going to put it at that two inch mark because you can flip it over. It's whatever is easiest for you. So there. And, oh, 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 my goodness. Guess what I did? This probably I didn't get it all in here down. See, that was that was bad on my part. But I'm kind of glad it happened because now I can show you if it happens. You just put it back on there. All right. Yep, that was probably me not paying attention. And I decided, oh, I don't need to do that uh, adhesive all the way down. So who knows? I might lose another one here. But don't you love there are no mistakes in stamping. All right, get that out of my way. I'm going to give it a shake, make sure I don't lose anymore. No, nope, everything's good. Okay, so with this one, no, 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 look, look. Yeah, it's being naughty on me. All right, we'll put that one back. You know, actually, like I said, it's kind of nice when those things happen because then I can prove my point. Don't do it the way I did because I did it wrong. <laughs> I just, was, that magic of television failed me. Oh my goodness. All right. So there we go. And now we can have some, you guys, <laughs> please. Yeah. Now you see why I made that point of scented <laughs> adhesive all the way down. That's cracking me up that they're all just going to fall off. Okay. Now with this one, ooh, I did not quite get that one all the way cut through. I'll tell you what, I didn't get that all the way cut through. I can easily come back in, back on that two inch mark. Which one didn't this one? So I can come back in and just cut through that again. But I'll tell you what, because I don't want you guys to have to sit there and watch me do that. This is what the final card is going to look like. So you can see we've got those extra cuts. And then I came in with the uh, Starry Sky Metallic Ribbon. It looks really great with the Knight of Navy. And can you see, I just tied ribbon in a bow here on this panel. I just pulled that panel out, wrapped it through, tied it in a bow, and that gives it even more wow factor. And again, when we go to mail this one, now I gotta, I gotta tell you something. This one I found worked better when I covered it up like this. So I mailed it like this. I was having a hard time um, getting it to go the other way. No, you know what, see I can do this, but it was this little panel right here, that ribbon was in it. And it didn't want to lay as, I'm, I guess I could do that. Um, you guys get creative. But I want you to see that ribbon is right there. And it kind of gets a little bulky. So this one you may want to uh, fold a little bit differently. But it's, it's a holy cow, right? Look at all of that. And really, making those cuts was not difficult at all. I want to make one more comment about this card. When I first created it, especially when I was doing the uh, wow and the holy cow, I had taken, let me bring this one as, as a sample. I layered designer series paper on top of Knight of Navy. So, I mean, I had all these layers going on. Guess what? It was too thick to cut my lines. So there is a reason I didn't do additional layers here. Here, no problem, because I'm not cutting through that. But I want to give you a word of warning on these panels. Don't try to do multiple layers because we have uh, designer series paper, cardstock, and designer series paper. We have cardstock, cardstock, and cardstock. That's three layers deep. 
you don't want to go and try to now add designer series paper on top of it. It's just too much to cut through. So let me go ahead. Let's see. We have a now. We have a wow. And we have a holy cow. And uh, so I'd love to hear your thoughts. Which one do you think you might create? Did you find that one easy? I mean, really, there it was a fairly easy card to make. The biggest tip, remember, it is eight and a quarter, not eight and a half, because if you go eight and a half, your card's not going to go together right. And here's the thing. We want this to be able to fit into a medium-sized envelope. That's the other reason why we're cutting that quarter of an inch off. If we didn't, it's not going to fit in a medium envelope, and you're going to be sad. And I don't want you to be sad. So make sure you do that cutting right. Use your favorite colors, your favorite designer series paper, your favorite stamps. I mean, I'm just a huge fan of the Sentimental Park. I think it's such a fun set, but then I love fonts. Fonts are like my thing. All right, that is your now wow and holy cow. I am excited to share with you the cards we're going to create next week. That will be, what is next week? I got to look at my post-it note that'll tell me. April 13th, April 13th, this is going to be fun. We're going to be using um, designer series paper to create a double pocket card. So we have a pocket here. We have a pocket here. So cute, right? And on the inside, we have a gift card. That's optional. If you don't need the gift card, you don't have to do it. And a place to write another message. If you have maybe a um, Maybe you're sending a get well card to, uh, you know, maybe someone at church or in a Sunday school class or at work or a retirement card. Lots of people need to sign. Well, look at this. You have this. You have this. I could put some more card stock on that to write another message. And then, of course, right in here. Lots of places to leave a message. So we're going to, I love this one. And uh, I especially loved it with this paper. I thought it was just delicious. And then I did a coffee one as well. So you're just like coffee. You make everything better. There's some of that designer series paper. By the way, can you see this is a great one for the guys? I always love to have cards for the guys. And then coffee, 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 coffee. And of course, a Starbucks card. So there you go. Those are the cards we're going to create next week. Um, I hope that you guys will join me because those are going to be a lot of fun. I've got a diagram to make it easy because that's what I do. Don't forget to grab your free download for today's Now Wow or Holy Cow because I want you to have that. You can always find it at simplysimplestamping.com. Um, just look for this post. When you see the picture of the Now Wow and Holy Cow cards, go to it. You'll see a blue button where you can download that. One last thing before I close, guys, we are almost, it is almost time for the uh, Creative 8 Spring Retreat. If you love creating wow cards, this is the event for you. If you're a new stamper, if you're a seasoned stamper, this is the event for you. We offer a little bit of everything. And it's a weekend of stamping set aside just for you. Uh, the Creative 8 team is uh, comprised of four demonstrators, myself, and then there's Brandy Cox, Sharon Armstrong, Jackie Bullheis. We come together with eight uh, YouTube live videos. Uh, you're going to have tutorials uh, with photos, everything written out, 36 tutorials. Um, we've got challenges that we throw out. We have door prizes because, you know, you got to have some prizes too. Lots and lots going on. No matter where you live in the, in the world, you can attend this event. It is all online. You get to use the supplies that you already have. No, nope, you don't have to buy anything extra. We encourage you to use what you already have on your shelf. So that's the other thing I just love about this event. We want you using what you have. I would love for you to join us. If you go over to simplysimplestamping.com in the blue menu bar, you're going to see Creative 8 Retreat. If you click on that, you can read all the details, how it works. guys. It's a fantastic event. This will be our 13th event. We do these every quarter. Here goes the nose. Um, <laughs> but I'd love to have you be a part of that. And um, lots and lots of testimonials. So uh, do me a favor. Leave me a testimonial. If you've attended the Creative 8 retreats, let everybody know. Don't have FOMO. Don't miss out. Don't have that fear of missing out. We want you there. So love to have you join in on that. And with that, look at that. Boom. I can't see my watch. It's 1130. We made three cards, everybody. 
How fun was that? Thank you for joining me. Make it a great day. Go make a card, send a card, encourage someone today. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.